Morning everyone, I'm Roger Herring. and I am the Investor's Accountant and hey, we've just been through a bloody nightmare. This disaster called Hurricane Helene, this time last week we were waking up to the devastation across the southeast and everyone that was affected by this storm. My heart hurts for you, my prayers are with you, my thoughts are with you. So the questions that I am getting are what kind of relief will the IRS provide for hurricane victims. So let me break it down simply and I'm going to give you a couple of links that you can go because some of this can get kind of technical. Okay, so the first thing I did a video short and I told you that the IRS would extend the deadlines probably until February. Well, the IRS extended most of the deadlines until May 1st of 2025. So the October 15th deadline that was coming up exactly 10 days from now has been moved. That would have been for your final deadline on 1040 and final deadline on 1120. If you had a valid extension, okay, that's if you had an extension, that deadline is now May 1st, 2025. Now, that's only an extension of time to file. That money was actually due back April 15th of this year. So if you haven't paid, you still are going to accrue penalty and interest, but I'm going to tell you a secret. It's cheaper to owe the IRS than it is to owe a credit card. Hey, and you can get a payment plan with the IRS. They can be extremely generous, especially in light of disasters. All right. And seek out a tax professional. That's an easy thing to help you get set up. All right. Now, the link down below is to the specific state by state extended deadlines. Now I can tell you that it covers all of Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina, and it covers parts of Tennessee, Virginia, and Florida. But you can click through and read the details because 1040 final deadline for 2023 1040s and 2023 Form 1120 extended to May 1st. They've also extended certain business returns and payments that would fall due between now and the end of the year. So check it out, and you'll also learn about ex any extended deadlines that apply for your 2024 taxes, both filing and payment. Check it out. The second question everybody is asking me is, can we deduct hurricane losses and the simple answer is yes but obviously with taxes nothing are, is really straightforward and simple so I put a link to the IRS disaster deductions okay what we call federal disaster losses okay generally if your personal residence burned down in just a fire that's no longer deductible okay however a disaster like a hurricane that occurs in a federally declared disaster area that is deductible but there are some twists and turns for it go ahead and read about it but please seek professional advice but in general yes you can deduct disaster losses on your federal taxes all right check out the links understand the law get help if you need it all of you out there, especially my friends and family in my hometown of Asheville, North Carolina, we're praying for you every day. Until the next time, Roger out.